It's that time of year again. We prepared our hearts, we fasted, and we prayed, and now we're setting our focus to begin the journey from Palm Sunday to Easter Sunday morning called the Road to Resurrection. You have to say, take off your shoes for the ground that you're standing on is holy ground. Not because sticking with Jesus means everything in life will go my way. But I've just been walking with him long enough to know there ain't no better alternative than Jesus. The Bible says we have not a high priest who cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmity. Now, something wrong with that when you can touch Jesus, but you can't touch the pastor. The clothes I'm dressed in, I didn't get them from Macy's. I, I didn't get them from Nordstrom. I didn't get them from Neiman Marcus, but I got something on right now. It's called the righteousness of Jesus Christ. Let me help you understand something. I don't know what you got to fight when you get home. I don't know what you got to fight on the job tomorrow. I don't know what you got to fight financially. And I know folk expect for you to lose, but you can't lose because of who your father is. It doesn't matter the subject or the theme. They always show up with their little personal pronoun proper selves. Did you hear what they said? Did you hear what they did? until we go through some trials and some tribulations and some adversity and some mess, we will never be everything that God wants us to be. Your child has to know Jesus for himself or herself because salvation is something that you can't borrow. The idea that you have no intellect when you're under the influence of the Holy Spirit is another lie. You don't lose your mind because you follow God. You find your mind when you follow God. I look forward to seeing you during that week, and I want to invite you personally to be my friend and guest. For more information, you can look at our website for the service information times. I look forward to having you take that journey with me down the road to resurrection. Be encouraged.